Hi, Hugh and Francesca. Hey, Hi. how you doing? Hi. I'm well. I love your scenes together on screen with Gwen, I should say. <laughs> the three of us. The three of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Francesca, I love that you got to deliver the Terminator line. Come with me if you want to live. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. great. <laughs> I've never and then you don't rehearse them in a head. <laughs> <laughs> And you're, come on, big boy, we're just getting started. I love the two of you together. You're so great. So tell me for both of you, what were some of your favorite scenes to shoot? The come on, big boy, we're, mm -hmm. we're just getting started mm -hmm. is up there. Because that we got to do a fight scene with Michelle Yeah, which doesn't get not many that, people can say. No. So <laughs> great day. That was our final day on set as yeah. well. So. And honestly, when, you, when, you, when we picked up the script and we saw that we had a fight with Michelle, uh, you know, you couldn't wipe the grin off my face. We were very lucky, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to, to go through all of that, it was fab. That was probably the best day, I'd say. So did you get to keep anything from set? Or anything you wanted to keep from set? Uh, Nick Jeffries, the supervisor, armory, extravaganza, um, sought me out with my own Gwen to take home. Mm -hmm. So I do have a Gwen at home, which I'm delighted about. Yeah, and my, my butcher's cleavers are in the living room at home. <laughs> yeah. Not they're not they're not sharp or anything. They're fine. <laughs> As a threat. As a threat. Yeah, don't, don't come in my house. <laughs> I was gonna say. So tell me about some of your favorite downtime memories from filming. We'd eat a lot. We mm -hmm. just constantly want to know what was on the menu or where the snack bag was, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or when we were getting caught. Like we we also would have trailers together, and when we'd get in because we'd be like neighbors in the trailers when we get in to know that the other person was in at 4 p.m one of us would knock on the wall be like duh, 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 and then the other person would be like duh, duh. <laughs> and that was always cute we, we weren't we weren't happy when we were next to each other in trailers sometimes they probably had to separate i was gonna us, say so they did it on, on purpose i think yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was no handsome sing-alongs like on harlots with the trailers no, what, no. handsome sing-alongs like harlots uh no sing we did we did have sing singing. We we all love Zach Wyatt loves a sing song, um, but um, yeah, no, 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 not many sing song sessions. No sing song no. sessions. So, what are you both excited for the fans to see on the show? I'm excited for them to um, see the world that hasn't really been explored yeah. that much yet, yeah. and to look at the Easter eggs they can find to connect the two. And be detectives, because that's what's so great about prequels. You can be yeah. a detective, but also it could be someone's first introduction to the world. Mm -hmm. as well. and, and, you know, there's a lot of pressure in, 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 in doing a prequel because you're offering an answer to some questions and, and some people may want answers and some people may not want answers to those things. So um, I think we we want to do justice to the, to the Witcher world and, and add a little something to it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you both so, so much for the art you bring into the world. I really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time. Thank Have a lovely too. day. Thank you. Yes, thank take you. care. Bye-bye.